And if that, that should light up in a second. Okay, we're yeah. putting a Cromenco C10, folks, right here in the Digibar. So it's load, it, the operating Just system's down. there, and what it's doing is it's loading the software from here mm -hmm. that's the, just the sort of menu system mm -hmm. there it is okay so that's the menu that's what it comes up with so it says chromemco c10 sp this is a specific kind of a c10 mm -hmm. um and it's so then there's several menu items write master word processing system calc master spreadsheet money master stocks and bonds analysis Demonstration program for this computer, structured basic programming language, um, and then various utilities. Gotcha. Um, this computer was intended to be Chromemco's first appliance mm -hmm. where people could just set it up and start using it. Mm -hmm. uh, before that, they made, they started out making these uh, S100 based components and S100 based computers for hobbyists, but they kind of moved into business computing. Um, in in the uh, late 70s and early 80s. Gotcha. And then, um, but those computers, the S1 to 100 bus computers, were still pretty. Um, uh, they weren't really an appliance that you could just sort of turn on and, and yeah. use. Yeah. This was their first attempt to make a turn on and use computer. And as far as we know, this is the beginning or the first all-in-one system. Yes. Because it, you, know, you have a floppy there, but but you you have the complete the com board computer is in here is in here and uh, this is just a keyboard there's there's it's not like there's a computer in here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, it was, so it was a pretty advanced design for its time I for mean, its time the ergonomics yeah. and everything is yeah and um, you know I, I don't know how many of them were sold you, you know in the thousands uh, basically the year after this came out the IBM PC came out yeah yeah. And so that that made it easy for uh, IT managers at companies to just sort of, well, we always bought IBM, so we'll just keep we'll just buying. Keep IBM. buying. You can't get fired for buying blue. Yeah. Kind of thing. I remember that. So here we have software. Now you created WriteMaster. I wrote WriteMaster. The uh, we've got uh, the manual right over here. Right. Everything. We got the C10 manual. We've got the WriteMaster manual yeah, right here. Structured basic manual. Structured yeah. basic. We got other manuals here. Um, this is a cornucopia of the C10. Telemaster, is which is uh, the the the, the uh, uh, tele the tele um, sort of um, it's the so it was the software for for doing um, uh, computer to computer communication. Mm -hmm. Uh, file transfer across computers and things like that. This is the IO News magazine that Chromemco published to sort of publicize its own products, mm -hmm. and I mm -hmm. wrote a bunch of articles for this. Um, I'm just going to give you this folder of re release notes. This is wonderful. Um, so you were part, sort of part of the launch team and the yeah, whole for bit this, for this thing. For this thing, and and you were just out of college. I was just out of graduate school. Just at Stanford. out of graduate school at Stanford. Yeah, not in computer science, in psychology. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but okay. I had been a, I had been a computer geek for a long time. And so psycho psychology majors and English majors made good programmers. Right. Sometimes <laughs> better right. better than geeks. Than, rather than flipping burgers or whatever it is. <laughs> right. Now, one thing I'll say about this computer is that if you keep it on for a long time, um, the board will heat up. Gotcha. And when the board okay. heats up, especially the the gate array that 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 provides the that drives the visual display, will heat up. Will heat up. And okay. then the display will stop working. Okay. So That's basically, good. put it on, and after an, an hour or so, or two hours or three, it it might the image might get faint. Okay. Um, good, I've good. tried to find a replacement gate array. These, these C10s were well known for having that problem. Uh, almost all the people I know who have C10s today... Um, I'm trying to select right master. Okay. No, they have the same problem. They have the problem that the, the computer works except that you can't see anything because the display doesn't come on. And so we've, we've, we've done a massive search among the Chromemco alumni for these custom gate arrays that... Um, and old 
uh, C10s that we found that haven't been sort of used over the years, uh, mm -hmm. some t in some cases have gate arrays that still work. And so I was trying to find a gate array to replace the one in here, but I never managed. Well, thanks for looking. But uh, there's right know. master. So basically, it just it's just a menu-based system. But the way it works is you say, for example, create, uh, and then it, uh, you say, uh, you know, um, doc. Well, let's let's name it, you know, uh, test doc. Mm -hmm. And basically, it creates it creates a. Uh, Oh, it, it's, uh, we're using a write protected disk here, gotcha. so it is not able to create a, um, a test, file on there. Doc, yeah. So, so, yeah. So, I because I, I write protected this disk, but um, anyway. So we'll we'll get out of here. Um, let's see. Actually, if I put in a different disk, it'll be it'll be it's still in still in memory anyway. So. Right. Uh, some of your own. I don't want to mess with those, so I'm looking for that box of blank disks. Right 